Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. So just keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Um, and the timing is still fluid, so I'll take what resonates and leave the rest. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, please come to me now and assist me with this reading for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo for the week of May 18th? This is an overall energy. What? Please give me one card for an overall energy for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Empress! The Empress. Well, somebody, the, the Empress is all about growth. Um, this is Mother Earth. This is a natural. Um, this is a period of fertility, incubating, having plenty. You could be dealing with maybe your hostess or it's just a time of love. It's obviously uh, tender loving care with the Empress. Uh, somebody, if you are a masculine, if you're a masculine watching this, you're dealing with a very beautiful individual. This person is tender, loving, caring, sensual, sexual, domesticated, demonstrate, demonstrates love um, very, very, very much. Um, you see, that's the Ace of Cups in her hand, giving love. Now, this is this looks it may be a mother and a daughter. It doesn't have to be, but this is um, giving love. So somebody is dealing with a very loving individual. Looks like an Earth. You see the green. So in it, so if you are the feminine watching this, this is the energy that you are putting out. A very uh, grounded, a loving, beautiful. Uh, <sighs> energy and it's in it's it's very um look at the vibrations okay it, it's just an abundance of love okay so this is a week of love for you virgo and this could even be you got to think about self love or love between mother and child okay maybe you're deepening a bond with one of your children just saying the empress is a mother and it doesn't have to be between mother and child because the empress is um she's a mother by nature okay so this is somebody who is very motherly very um caring um, generally mothers are very caring if you are the masculine this week you're going to be you know, you have somebody in your vicinity or that you have your eye on or that you're with or whatever the case is that is very um, heartfelt. This person is, can take very, very, very good care of you. Okay, so this is a, this is either your energy or you're dealing with this individual. Typically the Empress is ruled by Venus. Venus is, um, the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So you could be dealing with one of those people. But this is the birth of a new life as well. Um, so somebody could be getting pregnant or they're starting a new life. So I'm going to take that for Monday. Um, the Empress is... Well, the Empress is the pick of the litter. She is. She's, she, you know, you guys have heard me say it and I'll say it again. She, she's Mother Earth. She's the queen of all queens. Okay, the Empress is the queen of all queens. She's unconditional love. Um, she's giving love freely. So some, you have an Empress that is giving love freely. If you are the feminine, this is the energy that you are taking on. A very loving, generous, kind energy. I know I've repeated myself. But it's abundant. It's abundantly clear. Okay. So Monday. Ooh. Now, if this isn't you, it's another woman. Okay. The Empress is the pick. Okay. She is the pick. She knows her value. She's a very valuable woman. She knows her value. She's not easy. Tuesday. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have an empress here. This empress is very valuable, okay? So she knows her value, which is interesting. Now this could be a mother that is giving some guidance to her child. Mothers are very protective. Now what I just heard, and I'm not sure if this is a mother, you know, a mother could be giving you some advice, okay? So somebody could be getting you some advice from a mother. Um, and this mother is very experienced, whoever this mother is, whether it's you or the person that you're getting advice from. We have a very experienced individual here. Now, you know, sometimes, you know, what I want to say is mothers pass away. So I'm not sure if this is a mother that has passed away, but this is passing on something to a child. So there's a mother that is, it has some good information for you this week. This mother is, 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 can help you in some way. So let's talk about Monday. Monday, Five of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So I'm not sure if there's something that is totally ruined or this is a big, huge loss on Monday. Huge, okay? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse is a lost opportunity. You lost it. It's over. It's slipping away. You know, you can't hold on to it. It's, uh... You didn't, somebody didn't plan effectively in the five of pentacles. Um, there could be an unhealthy relationship or feeling disgraced or total ruin. It could be a major loss on Monday. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I mean, the ace of pentacles in reverse is a golden opportunity that was missed or lost or somebody is walking away. They're throwing something away. They're not putting in effort. They don't want it anymore. They're giving it away. They're pushing, pushing it away. Um, you know, somebody may be in a, been a victim to some sort of circumstance. They were holding on to it for financial reasons, or they were staying put because of financial reasons, but now it's, they don't care anymore. I don't care about the money. I don't, you know, or there's somebody is saying tough shit on the money or whatever the case is. It's not about the money anymore. Whatever this is, this is a lost opportunity. It's not, not, it's being given away or taken away or pushed away. This is a... not keeping it. I don't want it or it's being taken away. Um, huge, huge loss on Monday. I mean, I can't pretend. I can't change it. Uh, this is total ruin of some sort. Something is not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. You can't, it's not going to last. There's no permanency here. And somebody allowed themselves to be a victim for quite some time. I was just going to say 15 years, maybe close to, or 14 years. It doesn't have to be, it could be six years, four years. I don't want it anymore. That's what I hear. No. There's no stability here. There's no stability. Now, the Wheel of Fortune on Tuesday, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a loss as well, an unfortunate loss. I don't know what the hell is going on this week. I was going to say Taurus. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, but you don't have to be. But you're dealing with um, a big loss with all these cards right here. Okay? And this is being pushed away as well. So something is going on here. There could be a fight. There could be an argument. Um, this is a setback. Bad luck. Not meant to be. There's been a delay. This is a shocking, unpredictable loss of some sort. I don't know what the hell this is. 
Now, this is the Page of Swords. Reverse is bad news. Oh, my God. I'm not going to do this reading over just because we got these people that only want to hear positive things. I can't. I can't. It's not who I am. That would be bogus. That would not be being authentic. And we got a lot of people that aren't authentic out there. And maybe these words are coming out of my mouth for a reason because we have somebody here who hasn't been living an authentic life. And, you know, shit is about to crumble. And I don't need the tower card to see it. Anyhow, um, this is a horrendous loss. And it's got bad news. Uh, I'm sorry, but it is. Now, there could be a financial loss. Something could happen that costs you a lot of money. And I, I don't even like to hear this shit. I really don't because I'm Virgo rising. Okay, this is... Um, I'd love to pretty it up for you considering I'm Virgo rising. And many times your rising sign is uh, more prominent than your sun. And that is no joke. So I really don't like this at all. But the fact of the matter is, is that we have a big, huge loss here. And it... I don't know what it is quite yet, but um, what is this? Now, I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is, um, but whatever this loss is, it leads to a new beginning. On Wednesday, this is a new day, the sun card, okay? The sun card is happiness, bliss, fresh start, new beginning, freedom. And this one is freedom too. So this there's freedom. There's freedom on Wednesday, eight of swords with the sun card. These are both cards of freedom. And this is a new life. And this is a new life. Somebody could be getting pregnant. So, I, you know, or this is the beginning of a new life. So it's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new life starting on Wednesday. But on Monday and Tuesday, I don't know. I don't know what. We need to get some more cards. What's going on? Now the five of now the five of pentacles in reversed. That is, you know, somebody may have neglected. There may have been some neglect or some abuse or some sort of abandonment. So I don't know if somebody has abandoned something or they have abused something and now they're about to lose it. They didn't take care of it. Um, what the hell is this? There's going to be a change by the looks of things. This week there's going to be a big change in your life. Something is about to change. It may have something to do with a mother and a child. And I'm not trying to scare anybody at all not prepared unprepared three of wands reverse you're not oh my god this is ridiculous three of wands reverse that is not prepared no vision not seeing the opportunities there's been a delay a delayed arrival lack of foresight you are not prepared for something to come back around now this could be a return does it, you know maybe somebody let you go or they ghosted you or they abandoned you maybe that's in the past maybe it was a horrendous loss in the past and somebody is coming back around with with the wheel of fortune reverse the five of pentacles reverse and the three of Wands reverse. Something could be coming back around. Something from your past coming back to haunt you. Something is coming back around. Something is coming back around to haunt you from your past. Now, what is it? It could be something that you did in the past coming back to haunt you. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma, so I'm not sure what is going on. But there, it could be a person from your past. You're not prepared for this. Whatever it is, this Ace of Pentacles reverse. What is this Ace of Pentacles reverse? Now this is wasted time, not seeing somebody didn't see. Uh, this is this Ace of Pentacles is about value, and the Queen of and the Empress, Queen of All Queens, she knows her value. So that somebody, you, there could be somebody that is coming back around that hurt you. This person is bad news. Maybe they have some mental health issues. I don't know. You, there could be somebody that is coming back around. Um, somebody that ghosted you or neglected you or whatever the hell it is two of two of swords reversed over that ace of pentacles seeing the truth lies being exposed oh 
holding on to anxiety. We have, the, and the same with the Page of Swords. So, resent. There is somebody that, oh, I don't know what the hell is going on. You may have blocked, because this is blocked. Opening up. Mm. Three of Cups. From Monday to Tuesday, this is a reunion. Somebody wants a, a reunion with you. They do. And I think that you either let them go or they let you go. There is something coming back around from Monday to Tuesday. And this may be via social media. It could be, you know, getting together with people. But something is coming back around. This person has been spying. They have been watching. They're not happy. This is this is probably not good news with the page of cup page of swords reverse. Typically the page of swords reverse is bad news. This is a liar. It could be a cheat. You could be dealing with somebody that cheated. Or they lie. They don't tell the truth. But this is telling the truth, exposing, exposing the truth. Now, if somebody has been cheating, and, you know, it could come out, just saying. Monday, Tuesday, if there's been some sort of cheating or, or communication on social media or deception or lying or cheating or whatever, they it could get caught and it could cause this big, huge loss. Okay? This could be total ruin because somebody was cheating. You know, there's a such thing called uh, as um, emotional cheating. I mean, you don't actually have to sleep with the person, but you are, for, you are engaging with words and conversations and getting to know another person while you're married That's or committed. That's called emotional cheating, and it's real. So I feel like there, there's that kind of thing here. Somebody who hasn't been living an authentic life, and I think they're about to get stopped right in their tracks. Something is going to happen between Monday and Tuesday, or, you know, the timing is fluid. Some truth could come out. This is truth is being revealed about a third party, perhaps, or a bit, you know, say, you know, I'm not sure what is going on here, but it looks like whatever it is, it's going to cause um, a big, huge loss. Okay, end of story. So Wednesday, Wednesday's freedom. It is freedom from con confinement, freedom from being tied down. Okay, so this is this is the sun card is extreme happiness. This is a new beginning. This is lies again being exposed, which allow you to be free on Wednesday. This is letting go of emptiness and being happy. You're free. So there's something about freedom and being happy, no longer tied back or held back, no longer in a state of mental turmoil, stepping outside. Freedom. Freedom on Wednesday. Free and happy. No longer stuck. So whatever happens on Monday and Tuesday, whatever it is that you gets revealed that gives you some sort of clarity or changes your direction or something like that on Monday and Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday might be rough because something could come out that uh, shakes things up, put it that way. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that ghosted you and now they want to come back around and it just causes inner turmoil. Okay, that could certainly be the case. You know, it causes anxiety within you. You may, It may cause you some anxiety. You know, you don't want to get engaged in a third-party situation. We could go all day with just these cards. But anyway, Monday and Tuesday is probably going to be rough. On Wednesday, you're going to be happy. You're going to be free. Wednesday is going to be a good day where you see clearly. You're not wearing the mask anymore. You're awake. You, you, whatever happened on these days has brought you some sort of clarity. Okay? So, on Thursday... This is the moment of decision after being discontent. So I think that, well, I think that there's ignoring somebody's offer. I feel like somebody has made a decision on Thursday to turn their back on an individual that ignored them. It's like, no, 
not interested because this is turning your back some or you were the other person because these can always go vice versa this is an individual that is has really missed an opportunity they wasted time they wasted time and now it's like I don't want it anymore so on Thursday I think it's a level of one person being really unhappy being really unhappy that uh, they aren't getting what they want or just not interested I'm just not interested it's too late a Thursday is a day of it's too late sorry I'm not interested whatever that is for you the decision has been made Friday Ooh, page of wands and the five of swords somebody wants to win at all costs doesn't like to lose so on Friday we have a person that doesn't like to lose and they are going to probably <laughs> take a risk. They're probably going to take a risk. It looks like there's a, some sort of battle here. It does. It looks like there's a battle on Friday. This is a power struggle. This is, this is walking away. Somebody is being pushed away. This person has their eye on the prize. I think that they're seeing face to face too with somebody. Let's see, this is a face-to-face -face on Friday. Now, this could be somebody new coming into the picture on Friday for some of you. Sometimes the Page of Wands is an invite or somebody new could be a new suitor. But on Friday, this is an exciting opportunity that is, you know, you're going to have to be careful about. Somebody may get this new uh, exciting opportunity to it's like they see something that interests them but you got to be careful because you may run into somebody that you are attracted to okay on Friday I don't know if this person starts communicating with you or this is a friend or I don't know who this person is but this person is um you know five of swords this is an abusive individual this is an abusive individual this is giving somebody a chance, being optimistic, brave, a new discovery. Uh, this is a new direction. So on Friday, that's taking a new path, but running into an obstacle. Something is going on. You, there's going to be some sort of situation on Friday with this Five of Swords. That is, that is a hostile situation. Somebody that uh, may see that you're taking a new path and they may get mad. Okay, The Five of Swords is somebody that only cares about themselves. They may even threaten you. You may be going eye to eye with somebody that... I feel like this person has a habit of abuse. Five of Cups. Yeah, they push somebody away. They just broke somebody's heart. And now they need some sort of attention. You need to be careful. You need to be careful on Friday. Whether it's you that has a broken heart or you that is grieving or it's the other person that is grieving, somebody's looking to fill a void. And they don't have good intentions. So on Friday, my advice is to walk away from somebody that is abusive. There is somebody that may look really good, that may seem like this is a good match, but it's not. This person is grieving over something else and they're looking to fill a void. That is how I feel about on Friday. I think that there is going to be a real struggle to turn your back on somebody that hurt you. So what it is, it's probably the same person. This person isn't going to give up easily. They don't like to lose. They don't like to lose. So you got somebody coming back around that doesn't like to lose and they're going to want they're going to try to uh, make you feel guilty. I feel like they're going to try to make you feel guilty. 
<laughs> Saturday. The moon and the emperor. Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Taurus. So this all is not as it seems on Saturday. This, there's some sort of deception. Somebody is hiding who they truly are. There's an angry individual here that is very controlling and likes to be in control and likes to be the boss and is very dominant and is only thinking about themselves. This person is only thinking about themselves and all they care about is themselves. They may, they're going to say whatever they have to say to, to lure you in. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but this is a very deceptive individual and I think that you need to proceed with caution this week. You could be, this could, now I don't know who this is. This could be a father, could be a husband, could be a lover, could be an ex. I don't know who it is, but whoever this person is, there is a lot of extreme control. Wanting to be the winner, wanting to be the boss, wanting to be in control, doesn't like to lose. This person only cares about themselves, very egotistical. It feels like they've lost their power over you and they're going to gain it back with heck come hell or high water. And I think it's because you have lost interest. Saturday. Or Sunday. Sunday, the hair font. Now this is a higher power. Saying, hold up, wait a minute. The universe, the God is involved here. You notice he's pointing up, pointing up at the heavens. Okay. This is withholding love. Oh, she's not giving her love. The Queen of Cups has a lot of love to offer, but you notice there's a cover on that cup. So she's not just giving, just wait. Wait before you give your love away. Have faith. Have trust. Believe. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. Love yourself. Love yourself. The, so I think on Sunday, I mean, the hair font is about believing in yourself, having faith in yourself. This is a higher power. A teacher or a counselor or a mentor, mentor, or your gut telling you to hold back. Wait, wait, wait. On Sunday, it's about loving yourself. Let go and let God. So, so I feel like on Sunday, there is a higher power or teacher or somebody, and again, this could be advice from somebody, somebody that is an authority or somebody that is very spiritual, giving some loving, kind, tender, real advice. I think this is genuine advice based on experience. Sunday may be an emotional day. Now, these are both very psychic energies as well, divine connection. So somebody could be getting a message from above, okay? Maybe it's from a mother. I feel like there's a connection with a mother here. A mother has some information that will help you. So anyway, I feel like this week is a week of knowing your value and knowing your worth and not letting yourself be engaged with somebody who only cares about themselves. Learn to love yourself. Walk away from this tyrant, whoever they are. Good luck.